Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here with me today. I want you to see this reference photo I found. It's a reindeer. I'll link it in this video's description. Uh, it's uh, on pixabay.com. Isn't that fun? I cropped in on it a bit. And I'm gonna make the um, bridle, that's what you call it, uh, more red. I don't know if I'll do anything else to the reindeer. And I think in the background we'll have kind of a off in the distance winter scene type thing going on. I'm going to paint it on a 10 inch by 10 inch gallery wrap canvas from Michaels. I just love these. The inch and a half thick ones are really nice because you can tighten them up really well with water and a hair dryer. I'll link how to do that in this video's description. And for the background, I'm going to use titanium white, neutral gray five, and phthalo blue-green shade. We're gonna make kind of this blue-greenish light, hopefully winter-looking color. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, let's chat. I used a really inexpensive two inch brush from Blick Art Materials. I really like these. I think it came in a pack of three different sizes. And then up and down strokes for the sky, trees, whatever's off in the background, horizontal strokes and darker for the land. Kind of, it's a simple landscape. I did, um, panic. <laughs> so I had a great color going with a little bit of phthalo blue, a lot more uh, neutral gray five, titanium white. It makes a really pretty color. And then I put in, oh, like that much cad yellow into it just to make it go a little greener. But really you can see, if you can see what I'm talking about, that looks more green then the phthalo blue green shade. See how much, how that's bluer? But it doesn't really look green until you get, and hopefully it does in the video, and hopefully that was in frame because I, I'm like right next to my phone. Hopefully you can see that why I call that greener now. I dried it really well with a hair dryer. I think, I think we're in good shape. I think a lot of this is gonna get covered up. I think I think this will show, so maybe I'll put a little more white in here. But the reindeer kind of comes up like this, and then there's the nose. Here, I've got a printout. I'm gonna trace it. I'm gonna tape this together. Oh, some of that might show too. I think what I'll do is I'll save my palette. Missed it with some water. Put it in a gallon baggie and that way if I want to make any changes to my background, I've got my background color mixed. I'm going to let it dry, have some dinner, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, let's talk about what I've got going on. I'm using a number four round from Royal and Langnickel. Oops, I don't know if that's working. And I'm using it kind of like a pencil. I'm, if I were using a color pencil, I would, I would be doing very much the same thing. So brush stroke direction helps to indicate some of the fur. 
And then I am painting shapes. So even though that eye is the wrong color, you know, I've got the shape of the eyeball and then the shape of the shadow. <clears throat> Excuse me. The shape of the darker fur right here. It's not exactly right. Here, let's show you. So I've got the white that comes out of the corner of the eye. I actually have it cream, creamy and it could go further now that I'm looking at it again. <laughs> so I used burnt umber and white. We could bring it a little further. And it doesn't have to be exact. You just, you, you want to get sort of the structure shapes. Um, I have out quinacridone magenta, cad yellow medium hue, burnt umber, and Mars black. I could bring out the phthalo blue again because it's in my background. I might. You can put it, I can put some blue in the shadow areas, maybe put a little blue highlight in the eye. Or I could get out the background. I could mix a back, close to the background color, get out my background palette and do that too. But so this shadow shape, here's a better one maybe. When I say shape, do you see how that looks like a triangle? So I printed that, or printed, painted that shadow shape. And I have the shapes drawn too. So it's not like I, you know, I've, I've helped myself by tracing the, the reindeer onto my canvas. It helps me find the shapes too. I was thinking I wouldn't put out phthalo blue, but I bet I will. I'll bet I'll come back and glaze in the shadow areas. Oh, my lights. It's a really soft lighting in the reference photo. I mean, there's a lot of white here, but so the, the antlers, you can tell the light's coming from the top. Top of the head is bright. And then if you look, the right side of the nose, oh, hopefully you can see that, is a little brighter than the left. So I'm gonna say my light direction is up over here. Actually, it'd be up off the video, but. So I, I am, um, I'm using a little brush, just get in some details. I, I like to find the eye shapes and like the mouth shapes, because people look at that the most and then kind of work from there. Um, a lot of artists are right when they say, you know, use a big brush and paint the whole shape first, big shapes first and then little. That's a great approach too, I just feel happier, more comfortable if I get these things going well. Oh, and then I can always make the eye darker. So I will quite often start with, you know, oranges, depends on the eye color. You could start with a light brown, but it's kind of nice to warm it up a little bit. You don't have to, there really isn't. Here, let's look at that eye again. There's bare, there's a little hint of warm in that eye. See if I can right down there. But you could just paint it straight up brown if you wanted. And then when I look in my phone, I kind of see that this highlights blue, bluish. So it, it would be nice to to um, have the background color be in part of the reindeer, help unify the painting. So I'll probably put that up in there. Well, hopefully some of those comments help. I'm using primaries. Um, I wouldn't consider phthalo blue green shade an actual blue primary, but I've got red, yellow, blue going. And then I added burnt umber for convenience. And mine, I, let me know in the comments, mine is always dry, kind of sticky. I don't know if it's what it's made of or the paint gets old quicker than the other colors. Let me know your experience in the comments. Okay guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna keep finding more shapes and I'll be back in a bit.
let's chat for a second. So what am I doing? So I've got warmer browns over here and cooler browns, I just got paint on my hand, down in here. I'm using a one inch flat brush from Royal and, oh no, it's a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. It's a little big sometimes, but I also want to go quicker. But I've gone over this area, I don't know how many times. Here, let me show you. But how did I know to go warmer and cooler? Sometimes I'll just shift it, but I hopefully you can see it. I think you can. It's warmer here on that part of the reindeer. So that's what's great about a reference photo. It'll give you ideas of what to do and how to shift the color. And now I keep going over this area because the blue is coming through. So the acrylic paint, I think this is true. Somebody can let me know if they actually know. When it dries, I think it shrinks. And so I don't know if you can see the little blue specks coming through. I also keep going over it to, um, I don't, just till I'm happy with it, really. And then I'm just kind of little swiping, but in the direction that the wrinkles on the neck go. And like I see in the reference photo, it's actually lighter up here. And I could, I mean, I talked about putting some background color in here. But also, I like good paint coverage. And then my um, pattern isn't exactly like you see on the reference photo, but it doesn't have to be, you know, I mean, well, I suppose it, it needs to be as exact as you want it to be. I tend to get um, tighter and more exact with like a pet portrait kind of situation. And then there's like some little, so grab, so this puddle is kind of a cool brown puddle. Eventually I'll put this brown in there and make it a warm brown puddle because it'll dry. So this brush is a little big. Do smaller strokes. And then I might not like it and I'll come back and change it again. Go a little wider. Maybe we'll just take some white in my dirty brush. You might like, I might like a smaller brush better. So I just, I'm playing with the values using the same color, just adding white to it. Oh, the color is burnt umber and, and Mars black. I made a brown or black or brown. And then sometimes it dries darker, so you got to come back and adjust. But I think if I step back, that's going to look really, really good. This is lighter in the reference photo, but I think, oops, I thought I had a little bit darker color in my brush. Actually, that might be okay. Sometimes when you just kind of, like I'm pushing paint into the canvas, you get some nice fur texture. I think I'm overthinking it. What do you guys think? <laughs> I went a little darker here than I see in the reference photo so that the metal ring will show. This is lighter in the reference photo, but I, I made it a little darker. And then I think what maybe I'm gonna do next is grab a smaller brush, like maybe this 3 8 inch angle brush and then put some whites in so I can see how white I can go. Cause I think it might be kind of neat. That could go darker too. Get some highlights. You know, what we, I want to, even though I don't see it on the reference photo a whole lot, let's get a couple wispies going here if we can. Okay guys, I hope some of those comments help. I'll be back in a bit.
hey, this is the next day. I almost have the face done. I've got to quit. I need to, well, and then done, I don't know if it's done, but I need to do a little bit of white up in here. I've gone back and reworked the mouth nose area a couple times, played with this a little bit. I added some color, more color, and then I put in some white. I think eventually I'm just gonna glaze red over the whole thing, because I've got the values going already. I think the eye is done. And when, I look, when I'm up close, this all looks a little too rough to me, but I think it might look pretty good as I glance into my phone. I think it might look um, done. I'll have to step back from it. Here, let me show you. Well, I wonder if this eye could use a little, you can refine and refine and refine. So there's the eye. And then here's the eye. It's not exact. I just need, what I really need to do is get the antlers done. I know I'm gonna splatter snow. I was thinking some ornaments, but I don't know if I really wanna put ornaments in it. I don't know, maybe a little holly, like I do with the cows. Or maybe a berry branch. I don't know if any of those things are poisonous if they would eat them. But that might be cute for the holiday season. And really, I've just been using, for the most part, this uh, 3 8 inch angle brush from Royal and Lane Nickel still. And then occasionally I get in there with a little round one to add white or add some black, that kind of thing. Oh, it's a, um, I've mentioned it before. It's a number four round from Royal and Lane Nickel. Okay, I just want to pop in because it's the next day, uh, that last time lapse bit. Um, is today and just thought I should pop in and comment a little bit. I'll be back in a bit, guys. Okay, just a couple of thoughts. I'm quite often I'm not happy with my paintings, and I say that just because I think that happens to a lot of artists. Um, sometimes it just takes some time away from it. Maybe you need more work. It's one of those things you just keep working through, and it's part of the fun, really. If it was super easy, I wouldn't keep doing it. I feel like I have too much detail here, and yet there's a lot of detail in the reference photo. I'm going to put in uh, some skinny berry branches with some berries. I think the lighting, well, maybe it's not so bad. I'm looking at my phone. This is more red to me than I think it's going to look in the video. I rounded this cheek back out. I realized when I was trying to get some looser brush strokes and I kind of had a jaggedy cheek going here. And it does pinch pretty close right here. The side of his head must go kind of flat right there. What else? Oh, I warmed, I made the antlers a warmer color. They kind of are in the reference photo, but not like I made them. But it also helps kind of, I don't know if it's good that it sets it apart from the reindeer or it's bad. I mean, these colors are similar to what's in the head. But I'm thinking the light is coming kind of over here. It's a little different. It has a lot of top light in the reference photo, but I ended up putting it a little more over this way. Oh, my light just popped on a little more. Hopefully that helps. I have lights super close, as close as my phone. I mean, we're all like right here trying to get it lit up for you guys. <laughs> I think this needs a little something here. You could, I could totally leave it. That's overthinking it. I could leave it. I think that's about it. Here, maybe you want to see, move my palette. Boy, when I look, so I'm just to the left of my, or right? I'm to the side of my phone. <laughs> and um, it looks really dark, but I think it's because of the angle. I'm off to the side. Because the videos haven't been that bad. 
Ooh, and this could, well, there'll probably be a one more, one or two more videos in my temporary studio, then I'll move. Yeah, but from off to the side that this uh, strap looks really dark. And then I've been in such a mood to splatter with snow. So we're gonna splatter with snow. Okay guys, I think that gets us up to speed. The, the antlers are definitely easier. Not, not as much detail in them. And they lead you off the painting, but the thing that saves us is that it's a portrait of a reindeer. And then the red, the eyes and the red just will keep you right there. So it's not a, really a, a big problem. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm calling it done. I use this craft brush, which I've used in other videos. Um, a longer brush will wiggle more, you'll get even more splatters. You can use a toothbrush. And then I thinned out, I added a little of my blue to my background color to make darker snow and splattered a little bit of that. And then thinned out my white. And I've got some interesting <laughs> goopy splatters, which I don't mind. I think they're kind of fun. Oh, hey. We've got kind of a funny look going on here. This is um, art tape from Hippie Crafter. Sometimes I'll just use paper towel. Um, paper towel won't stay up if I'm laying flat. I use like candy wrappers, whatever you've got handy. I think that's fun. I, I, love, oh, I always love the snow. I think that's really fun. I don't know that I have any tips or comments. Other than I'll come back and um, add some bigger dots. You could use the brush handle too. Dip it into the paint and then make dots that way. I like the berries. A little more red. That's pretty much why I did it. A little more red on the painting. That way you kind of bounce between here and here. I like that. Oh, and I added some background color in the shadow areas. I really like it on the ear. It's okay here. I really like it on that ear. It makes a great shadow. Gray works fine, but to me, blue is a little yummier. A little, little more seasoning or something. Oh, and Freckles wants to talk. She woke up and was yelling at me. I don't think she knew where I was. I think we've kind of done here. Maybe you want to see the berries. We've kind of done a tour. Oh, and there's a goofy splatter. Hey, Freckles, just hang on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear. We've got quite a few splatters over there. There's another fun one. I did splatter the sides. Um, three sides. I didn't splatter the bottom. Okay, guys. I think this is really fun. The reference photo is linked in this video's description if you want to give it a try. I think it's more helpful to use the reference photo as a traceable. You'll see the different parts of the thing you're painting, in this case the reindeer, better than if you use one of my traceables because it, some of that gets lost in the translation with the traceable. Totally okay if you prefer the traceables. I'm, it's just, these are just my opinions. Of course you guys do what you like to do. Super, super appreciate your support. I couldn't do this without all of you guys. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.